Good morning everyone. Welcome back to a cold, crispy, but very sunny Citadel. It's a beautiful day today, really shaping up to be lovely. However, we're going to give you a bit of time off from uh, our potager and our outbuildings, etc. Susie and I have been beavering away, um, putting more cardboard down in the potager and all that sort of stuff. But we thought we'd give you a little break from that because we have a little mystery to solve. In fact, being the Citadel, we've got two mysteries to solve. And as with all good mysteries around this place, it starts with a trip to the attic. Come with me. Wow, <laughs> I came up here to retrieve this item and along this parapet, um, I don't know whether you can see it from the camera, there's tiles, there's just random tiles and things like that up here. Um, but I've just noticed there's an item here and I can see one there, which we've never noticed before. I, I think we just assumed they were tiles like the others but actually they're not, and I can see they're not. So the plot thickens. I genuinely didn't expect these. I'm looking for this. So I'm gonna take this downstairs. I'm, I'm gonna take it outside so we can see it clearly. And then I'm gonna come back up here for these two items. Um, Susie's not here today. She's out uh, with her friends, Susie and Vero, uh, doing a bit of shopping, coffeeing, and all that sort of stuff. So she's gonna be really surprised to see these two things. Um, but the mystery is what they're doing here. Um, but anyway, I'll get them outside and we'll have a look there. I have to be very, very careful with this. It's very, very fragile. And in fairness, I probably shouldn't be doing this myself. Probably a two person job. But let's have a look. Okay, well I've got that. I'm going to come back for the other. Right, I've got that safely down there.
This is what happens when we go rummaging in the attic. Okay, wow. Actually, it's getting quite warm out here. Don't need the extra layer. I'm now down to three layers. All right, let's have a look. Okay, so what we seem to have is some glass. Now, it's obviously so dusty and quite dark up in the attic that we couldn't even tell whether it was coloured. But just looking here, that certainly looks coloured. Um, but it needs, needs a lot of cleaning up. Um, that looks religious um, but anyway and so these two that we just assumed because again it's so dark and dusty up there assumed they were tiles of some sort they're actually glass as well and this one's quite interesting because it's got hinges and a latch so it clearly is a window that one doesn't appear to have any hinges on so yeah okay so I think I need to clean these up actually um, yeah I mean okay. okay. <laughs> right now I've got to be very careful as you can see it's a bit fragile in fact that's a bit of slate it's nothing to do with it that's a bit of glass yeah, I'm going to have to be very careful with this, so uh, a very gentle clean. You can see the leads come away here on this side. Uh, it's broken here, a bit of glass missing here. But, um, yeah, we've been itching to get this out and have a look, so uh, let's have a look. Okay, I've got some mild soapy water. I think in, in, in some ways being um, in the attic all these years has probably helped preserve this. No natural daylight getting onto it, ultraviolet and all that. Um, I'm out in the sun with this at the moment. I don't suppose a few minutes is going to hurt, but um, yeah, I'll probably bring it inside shortly.
detail is, is really stunning. Really, really stunning. Those letters there, I-N-R-I, I believe they refer to Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Right, I'm going to take this inside out of the sun and this will be a nice surprise for when Susie gets back. Um, yeah, if you've got any um, any knowledge, you know, obviously it's a religious piece of glass. Did it come out of a bigger piece of glass or was that it on its own? It looks like that's it. Um, uh, but what's it doing here? You know, um, we found one or two religious things, um, as you'd expect in a Catholic country. Um, we've got these cemetery stones that we showed you previously. Uh, we've shown you that crypt door, uh, which we, we suspect was a crypt door. Uh, there are one or two other items around here. So did this come from a crypt? Did this come from a chapel? Um, hmm. Interesting. So... Okay, it was upside down. It has got a latch, has got um, two hinges. So they're identical in that sense. And actually, just looking very quickly at them both, they both look identical. So, yeah, it'd be interesting if we can find out where these two came from, but they they do look suspiciously like they may be off that crypt door or maybe um, and if you haven't seen that episode um, and a lot of you didn't actually funny enough I think it must have been do to do with the thumbnail it was the one where we discovered the crypt door in the attic um, as you would <laughs> in the attic why wouldn't it be there um, and I think um, what put people off was the thumbnail because we had a bit of fun with it. We called that episode Tales from the Crypt and we had um, the chateau at night in, in dark sky and with some blood red writing uh, saying Tales from the Crypt. And I think it might have put people off or might have they might have thought it was something completely different, nothing to do with chateaus and whatever. Um, but I'll leave the link under the description. And if you haven't seen it, it was a very interesting um, episode. And we had lots of comments from it. Um, and so it might be worth you referring back to that. But I'm wondering if perhaps these were either side of that door. Um, I don't know. But it, it, it looks the same in terms of the metal and everything. But anyway, let me uh, clean this up. There you go, you see, plum and gold. <laughs> and who thought we were mad? <laughs> and okay, I know it's purple, but we like calling it plum. Well, there you go. Simple design, but uh, nonetheless beautiful. The other day in the comments, um, one of our patrons and um, long-standing uh, viewer, um, Jane, she said, um, I can't believe your attic just keeps giving. Um, I think Jane's going to be beside herself today when she sees all this. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? So there you go. I've cleaned them both up. Obviously, there's a piece of glass missing out of this one um but you know it can be repaired and done and i'm sure for all you avid um escape to the chateau fans um, and the diy series you'll have seen michael petherick um doing a similar job on their stained glass in their uh, chapel at um 
Billy and Gwendolyn's place, so it's all doable. Uh, Susie's actually um, done a stained glass course, fun enough, in the UK. Um, so I think she'd love to get stuck into that one. Okay, well, that's a beautiful find, that glass. Um, those two other pieces, we genuinely didn't know they were there. Never noticed them in the dark up there, and with all that dust and all the other stuff that's around it, tiles, etc. So two years in, and we're still getting surprises. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that bit. But I have something else for you, because I promised you two mysteries. And the second mystery could be related to the first mystery, the glass, what it's doing here, and all that sort of stuff. And it all is to do with these pieces of paper here. These are old cadastral plans of this property. And they were very kindly sent to us by uh, a viewer, a French viewer called Regis, who has since become a Patreon. And he's very interested in history. And I know Regis um, kindly offered to translate some of these old documents that we have as well. So I'm going to have to take him up on that at some point. But anyway... In the meantime, I've got these plans to show you, and it's quite interesting. It, it just gives us a little bit more history, and history is definitely part of our um, ethos here. We really want to learn so much about this place. Uh, but basically, this what this shows, and just to give you the geography, you know the bread oven building there. Uh, you've seen all that before. And the tower is to my left here, and obviously I'm in the courtyard. Now, if I'd been standing on this spot 250, 300 years ago, I would have actually been in a building. And that's the mystery. What was that building? So I'm going to show you these plans. And maybe it was a chapel. Maybe it was a crypt. Maybe it was a, a, an original bread oven. Maybe it was a laundry. I don't know. But let's have a look at these plans. Okay, so what have we got? This is our property just here. Uh, this is where I was standing just a second ago with the bread oven to my right and then the, sh the, um, the chateau, the tower to my left. And there's the outbuildings you're familiar with down the side. Whoops, it's a bit breezy. Um, so the interesting thing is, I assumed when I first saw this that this was the actual bread oven, but you'll notice there's no long building behind it. Uh, and, of course, you've seen that in a recent video where we showed it to you last week. So this is dated um, 1828. And also, you'll notice um, our kitchens are not there. They should be here. So there's the tower. And there's the chateau. And here is our kitchens, uh, which goes off at an angle. And we have two kitchens there. Now, the other interesting thing I hope you can see is on the other side, this is our rosemary bud garden. Uh, there's something sticking out from the building on this side. So here's the tower, but there's something sticking out of the building on this side, um, which I've never noticed if there's any evidence of any of that. So I'll go and have a look in, in a moment. Um, so that was 1828. Let me show you another version of that, um, which is the same piece here let me zoom in a bit on that so here we are again with the the chateau and the outbuildings and what i thought was the bread oven and the long building but it isn't um and as you can see this plot here and this plot here there's one driveway going into both so it looks so this was all one property okay i'll zoom out of that and then i'll show you the next one i have which is 1935, I believe. And so here is the building here. So there's the tower, there's the outbuildings, etc. And here now, the bread oven has appeared and the long building behind it. So somewhere between 1828 and 1935, this bread oven appeared. However, you can see the original building is now disappeared because that's not strong lines anymore so that was the original site of it right by the bread oven there and you'll now see that our kitchens have turned up so here's our walled garden uh, the old greenhouse which i want to resurrect was here i'm sitting here now in, in our table in our courtyard so this building that i was just standing in if you like uh, has disappeared now it's no longer part of the cadastral plan and here is our meadow, 
And something interesting, we have the donkey shelter, which we've shown you before, and the roof has now collapsed. But there's another two little buildings in there as well, which weren't, which aren't there now. So this all helps us piece together a timeline. But I wonder what this building could have been. So could it have been a little chapel? Could it have been the original kitchens? Could it have been a crypt or something? I don't know. No idea. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, magical mystery tour. And um, a big thanks to Regis once again for sending these. Um, these um, cadastral plans are readily available online. And uh, he took the trouble of looking them up for us and then sending them on to us. Um, so that's really kind of him. And he sent me his own family tree as well, which was very interesting. So... Um, Thank you to Regis, and uh, subsequently he's become a patron as well. So, um, double thanks. Um, so, yeah, so Susie will be back shortly, so I'll show her those um, pieces of glass, and she'll be thrilled with those. What we end up doing with them, I don't know, but we'll try and design them into the place somewhere. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing something with those. That's what we came here for, to be able to be creative and that sort of thing. So anyway, we shall see you next time and we'll be back to our normal format. Uh, plenty of work to get on with. At the moment, I'm waiting for some roof uh, tile hooks. Um, these tiles that I'm using uh, on the pantry roof, they're lovely tiles, but they can slip, especially if you, know, you get some strong winds or you get a cat running over them or something. Um, so I've ordered some tile hooks and they just hold them all together but I haven't seen them yet, so I'm hoping they'll be here by the weekend, so I'll make a start on that. If not, I've got plenty to do. So thank you for watching, and we shall see you next time. Bye.